Charles is one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen, the first black fighter pilots, and he also happens to be Ian's great-grandfather. Tonight, we have a very special surprise. I am thrilled to inform you that your husband is back from deployment. He is here with us tonight, and we couldn't keep him waiting any longer. I can proudly announce tonight that an opportunity scholarship has become available. It's going to you, and you will soon be heading to the school of your choice. I will be with you again, he wrote to Gage. I will teach you to ride your first bike, build your first sandbox, watch you play sports, and see you have kids also. I love you, son. Take care of your mother. I am always with you, Daddy. On Easter Sunday of 2008, Chris was out on patrol in Baghdad when his Bradley fighting vehicle was hit by a roadside bomb. That night, he made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. To Kelly and Gage, Chris will live in our hearts forever. He is looking down on you now. Thank you. In 2017, doctors at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City delivered one of the earliest premature babies ever to survive. Today, Ellie is a strong, healthy two-year-old girl sitting with her amazing mother, Robin. In the gallery, Ellie and Robin, we are glad to have you with us tonight. I am proud to announce tonight that you will be receiving our country's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The unemployment rate for African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans has reached the lowest levels in history. African-American youth unemployment has reached an all-time low. African-American poverty has declined to the lowest rate ever recorded. The unemployment rate for women reached the lowest level in almost 70 years, and last year women filled 72 percent of all new jobs added. The veterans' unemployment rate dropped to a record low. The unemployment rate for disabled Americans has reached an all-time low. Our agenda is relentlessly pro-worker, pro-family, pro-growth, and most of all, pro-American. The state of our union is stronger than ever before. <laughs>